and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking through five super simple poses to do at every single senior session that will make your clients feel amazing and also create beautiful images for you as the photographer. <music> you are new here, my name is Hope Taylor and I am a senior portrait photographer serving both Charleston and Savannah. I have been a senior photographer for 10 years because I started my business in high school as a junior. So I was naturally photographing my peers and kind of got a unique perspective on what seniors wanted and what being a senior while photographing seniors was like. So now senior portraits are my favorite work that I create and they are just my entire heart and soul. And I teach thousands of photographers across the globe how to take better senior portraits in their own business and one of my favorite ways to do that is actually in my membership called the senior scoop and that is what you guys are going to see footage from today so the senior scoop is my monthly membership where photographers get to be a second shooter or a fly on the wall at real client senior sessions every single month so it includes a primary video of a full senior session that's typically an hour to two hours of content where you get to watch the entire shoot from the second I meet up with my client all the way through the moment that we finish and I explain what the gallery delivery process is like and we talk through every single decision that I'm making so I re-watch the footage and I talk over hey this is why I chose to shoot there this is why that lighting was perfect this is why this pose worked and this one didn't and this is how I navigated that weird family dynamic or that location that was under construction in addition to that main senior session you get to watch a bonus video of me editing those images in real time or teaching a topic that is relevant to that shoot. Things like marketing and social media and systems and client onboarding. You get a workbook, you get an incredible online community of photographers, and you get monthly access to me on live coaching calls. And all of that is only $27 a month. So we have almost 400 photographers in there and they are just my favorite people. They are so much fun. They are just the coolest group of people to be around and so incredibly supportive. So what you guys are going to watch on this video today is footage from Grayson's beautiful senior session in downtown Charleston and I'm going to show you guys what these five poses look like in real time like what they actually look like at a shoot and you'll get to see the structure of how the senior scoop is actually filmed so if you enjoy seeing this footage today and seeing the unedited images with my camera settings next to the final image next to the actual shoot as it's happening then you will love the membership I'm going to link it in the description down below and we would love to have you jump in but if you have watched my previous senior posing videos or you are in any of my online courses, then you may have heard me talk about that I start every single one of my senior sessions with the simplest poses first. I like to do some really fun like America's Next Top Model kind of posing with like hands in your hair and like really fun stuff like that, but I'm not going to come out the gate at a senior session photographing my clients that way because we just met, they probably have never gotten professional photos before, they are not comfortable in front of the camera, and I need to slowly build their confidence and build their trust in me with poses that are simple, easy to understand, and easy to look good in for every single person and every body type. So that's that's what these five poses are. They are the five poses that I start every single senior session with. So without further ado, let's do the thing. Pose number one is the super common, super casual hands in pockets. However, when I am photographing senior girls, which is what I specialize in, I like to add a little bit of sass to this hands in your pockets pose. So I like to either have my clients cross their ankles and tuck their hands in their pockets or put their feet hip width apart and lean all the way into one hip, which gives a little bit of sass when they put their hands in their pockets. And I like for them to keep their thumbs out because I think that it just looks a little bit more flat for me to be able to see that you do in fact have a hand in your pocket and I have my clients laugh typically over their shoulder and then at the camera again to build that trust so that they aren't staring at the camera lens while I perfect my focus and my camera settings and also just to get a little bit more variety in their gallery so first things first hands in pockets an awesome way to add variety is to cross their feet and do that hip width apart you can also have them turn one shoulder towards the camera and pop their front knee with their 
hands in their pockets. The second pose that's a super easy one to transition into from here is to have them drop one arm down and really softly wrap their hand around and grab onto that opposite elbow. What this does is it actually cinches them in at their smallest waist, so it's incredibly flattering. Um, it's not as flattering if they do this, but if you have them really softly do it, which is exactly how I communicate that to my client, then it's really flattering, cuts them off at their smallest waist, and it's just kind of a cozy way for them to feel really comfortable in front of the camera. So I'll have them lean into that arm and smile towards the camera, laugh off a shoulder. As you see at Gracian's shoot right here, it's just a really kind of simple and easy flattering pose for everybody type. Number three is the super common hands on the hips. This can be a huge one that I do multiple times throughout a shoot because there's so many ways to add variety into that pose. We can do one hand on hip, both hands on hips, one hand and hip, one hand and hair. There were a lot of ways that I utilized this pose at Grayson's shoot, but my favorite tip and trick that I do at every single session and photographing women in general, whether a senior or headshots or a bride, is when you tell somebody to put their hands on their hip, they almost always put their hand on their actual hip bone. But the problem with that is that's actually the widest part of your hip as a woman. You want that hand to come up quite a bit higher so that it's actually cinching in the smallest part of their waist, which is typically where their bra band would hit, probably four or five inches above where their hip bone actually lies. So when I say put your hand on your hip, I almost always have to say, actually, let's go up a little bit higher with that hand like this. And it will cinch them in at their smallest waist in a way that is much more flattering and photographs beautifully. The fourth pose is another really fun one to add in a ton of variety and also to add in some candid moving feeling images. And that is to have your client walk for a few photos. I love to have my clients walk directly across the frame as well as towards me and away from me at my shoots to get a lot of variety. This clip from Grayson's shoot shows her walking directly across the frame. And the instruction that I give is that I tell them to really slowly walk at like half speed, looking down at their feet. And I would tell them when to look at the camera. So they walk really slowly, smiling down at their feet. And then when I have them framed perfectly, wherever I wanted them for like that money shot, I say, okay, now smile up towards the camera really quick. And I'm able to snap that photo really, really quickly. And it's always beautiful. Beautiful. Um, I photograph that by locking in focus on the senior and then multi-shooting while they walk across the frame and it always turns out beautifully. And lastly, number five is a variation of that arm crossed pose that I told you about earlier. This is a pose that I consider slightly more advanced because I want my clients to feel a little bit more comfortable with me before I have them do this one, just because it feels a little weird to do this if they don't trust that I know what I'm talking about. But I will sometimes just from this pose with their hand wrapped around their waist, have them bring one hand up into their hair and lean into that hand. I really like to have my clients rest their head and lean in towards one side versus just sitting straight on like this. I find that it's more flattering and also feels a little bit more natural and feminine when I'm photographing my senior girls that I'm typically photographing. So I have them bring their hand up and either rest their hand softly on their chin or tucked back on their neck like this and lean that head into that hand. It just creates a little bit more natural of an angle for their face and it's it's also a really easy pose to do and you can switch it up with hands you can switch it up with hand placement and you can also have them wrap both hands into each other for even more variety so just to recap number one is that simple hands in pockets pose number two is one arm crossed around their body number three is hands on hips just a little bit higher than they naturally would number four is to walk across the frame and number five is to have one hand crossed and one hand up on their face so I hope this was helpful to kind of give you five super simple senior poses to try at your next shoot. If you want to learn more about the Senior Scoop membership and you enjoyed seeing real footage from a real shoot, the link is in the description down below. Like I mentioned, it's only $27 and we would be thrilled to have you inside the membership. If you have any questions or you want to see us film a different video about seniors, we'd love to see it in the comments. We would also be so grateful to have you subscribe. I share educational videos every single week and until next time, bye y'all.